Hello everyone, I'm Aaron Davison and I'm here to give you my movie review of Final Destination 5. This is basically not the final installment in the popular franchise series from New Line Cinema Films, but according to the producers and directors, it's basically a prequel to the first movie of the Final Destination trilogy. Final Destination 5 is really the goriest and most bloodiest movie yet. It's not the best one out of the series, I will give you that. But it is still very entertaining. It still definitely brings the movie back to its old roots of nasty, nasty um, incidents and freak accidents that happen to the characters. Uh, this one, death is more ominous present, I think that's how you say the word, uh, present, omnipresent as ever, um, and is unleashed after the people who survive a bridge suspension uh, collapse, basically, that begins the movie. Because every Final Destination begins with a huge, uh, huge uh, incident that people survive, and then one by one, they all die in um, what they call in the movie freak accidents. Um, this movie, uh, it's, um, it, it's very funny, actually. There's a lot of comical um, relief in the movie. Uh, it's not all just serious about, you know, um, uh, why, you know, wanting to not be killed and, you know, trying to get death to catch someone else and, you know, so it can override over you, um, and just, you know, not get, uh, killed and basically stop the, um, the death ring, I guess I would call it. Um, and so, the movie is really not the best out of the series. Um, I kind of say I was a little disappointed um, the acting is really kind of dull. I mean, it really is. I can't really give you an example, but the acting is just really, really um, dull. Um, they could have picked a better selection of actors. Um, I thought four, two, and well, actually one, three, and four were the best ones so far out of the series. And you're not going to expect every movie in the series to be good, just like the Saw movies. You're not going to expect every single Saw movie to, you know, to be good. I mean, people hate Saw 5. I don't like Saw 5. People like Saw 5. I, I, I just didn't like, I, I didn't enjoy Saw 5. But, um, so, but this is about Final Destination. Um, I would give the movie, um, two and a half stars. Two and a half stars. I know it's a harsh review, but I think a lot of you would agree with me. It wasn't the best out of the series, despite what critics said. But I will give them this. I will give them props for the goriness. It really was disgusting. There is one scene um, where the girls getting laser eye surgery, and it's almost impossible to watch. Like, I kept squirming in my seat. It was really, really disgusting. So there are some parts where it would just make you go like, ooh, you know. So um, it's a very, very you know, um, intense movie, but not the best one out of the series, but Final Destination 5 is now available on DVD and stores everywhere. Uh, wouldn't kind of, I, I wouldn't recommend a person buying it, um, but if you're a fan of the series and you just want to see it anyways, my opinion doesn't matter to you, go for it. You know, if you're a fan of the series, go for it, watch the movie, you know, make draw your own conclusions. Um, but, you know, to me, it wasn't the best out of the series, so Final Destination 5, two and a half stars, and thanks again for everyone watching, and the f over 5,000 views on my YouTube channel, subscribe to my channel, youtube.com slash 18, the number 18, TNA fan, and I will see you all in the new year, in 2012, bringing you with, you know, more videos, of course. Um, and more movie reviews, and of course more videos of my travels of uh, special events uh, across Florida. So, um, Happy New Year, and I wish you all peace, love, and happiness. So long.